here are some exercises I like to do in the yard or in the driveway. It ranges in difficulty, so it can be pretty easy for some or challenging for some, depending on where you're at. Here are just some shadow swings. I like to have my students do this a lot at home, holding the balance on the, on the finish slightly, really getting a good visual of, of what you're doing. Even swinging in the mirror is great. So some basic racket and ball drills. So it's like mostly just for 10 and under, 8 and under players, these, these first ones here. But I definitely like to have my younger students getting the hang of the racket and the ball and the feel of it. And perfect, perfect time is to do it at home to enhance coordination. And notice I'm always switching hands. So if you're my student watching this as an assignment, this is what you should be doing as well. You know, doing about 20 in a row, 30 in a row, or 10 in a row if you're really young or if it's really challenging, set goals for yourself. Or if you're a parent, set the goal as well. This is a little bit more challenging. Something that maybe some advanced players watching this can take away from it. And, and throwing the ball up higher is a little bit better. I wasn't throwing the ball too high on my, on my uh, hand without a racket. And then we have another another one where I'm just throwing the ball underneath the racket and the ball that was on the racket goes to my other hand. So just switching the ball. Just little things like this to kind of challenge your coordination. It's really important to develop the coordination skills for tennis to be a high level player. And now if you have a parent or a sibling that can also play a little bit, you can just kind of volley the ball back and forth lightly with each other. Slower, faster, d depending on your skill level, right? And this is a fun one. We just kind of started to do it just today. It takes some practice, so <laughs> but it's definitely it's definitely a challenging one to try to keep the rhythm. Reaction times. See his reaction was pretty slow there. So another one here for reaction and speed just in the the driveway, a parent can hold the balls out like I'm doing, drop it, have the student shuffle, black, uh, shuffle back, and then I have the student turn around and I'll say go, and they have to t jump into a split step and find that ball as quick as possible. You can also throw the ball away from them. I was just a little bit limited on space, so. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see any future content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you'll be informed when I upload. Thanks again, and see you next time.